No, in my um, uh, contribution as an oncogynecologist, I would like to touch upon not just uh, 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 on drugs, but the use of the systemic uh, uh, drug therapy um, when it is used um, in combination with others after surgery, post-surgery. There are three important aspects of uh, the systemic approach for cervical cancer. Uh, Pre-surgical, um, uh, then adjuvant, uh, chemotherapy uh, with uh, locally spread um, cervical cancer and treatment with the progressing and spread and disseminated cancer. But first of all, uh, prior to surgery. Now, we have Cochrane studies of uh, the um, 1990s, which demonstrated better results when non-adjuvant uh, 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 chemotherapy is used uh, for the uh, tumor in order to reduce the size of the tumor. And then uh, the studies were carried out in this particular context. When the results of the two methods are demonstrated, <laughs> Then, uh, of importance is the quality of life. And in our study, we were able to see that if we compare radio uh, and camera uh, therapy, then patients um, uh, gained uh, for whom the combined approach was used. And uh, thus, um, it pushed us towards pilot studies. And uh, this study was carried out at the Petrov Institute here in St. Petersburg, where uh, juvent uh, um, um, uh, treatment was the um, um, uh, radiation, and we had positive response in 6% um, uh, um, uh, of cases and in 46 partial uh, positive response. As a result, uh, the uh, dissertation was completed by Sm Smirnova, Olga Smirnova at the Petrov Institute, and uh, Professor Berlin was her uh, academic leader in that. And so, so and uh, here there were different uh, st uh, stages. Uh, um, one uh, A, uh, one uh, B, uh, one in 73 percent of cases. Uh, uh, partial response in about 10% of cases, complete response. This uh, dissertation was defended in 2017, and there were the results of the randomized uh, trial. Um, uh, 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 led by uh, uh, Sadib Gupta on um, uh, neoadjuvant therapy. Uh, from um, uh, 1B2 up to uh, second stage. And uh, um, uh, then uh, there was uh, EOTC, uh, GCD uh, study for the same um, diseases. As a result of these studies, it was uh, um, followed that uh, neoadjuvant uh, uh, chemotherapy um, uh, um, and the standard uh, the chemo uh, radial therapy gains, and uh, with these particular uh, forms of cervical uh, cancer, um, the relapse-free survival, as you can see, 69 against 67 uh, percent five-year survival in OTC, as you can see, 58 against 67, uh, and the rural survival was uh, statistically uh, um, insignificant. Um, uh, the difference was insignificant. And so when uh, we uh, uh, speak about the grades, about the stages of the disease, then of course the loss is mostly associated with the spread, um, uh, with the disseminated 2B uh, stage grade. You can see the result of RTC, uh, the, the worsening, as you can see, with. Uh, 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 as compared to 1B2 stage uh, uh, when uh, neoadjuvant is um, or can be used. And the same is true for the Indian uh, trial. You can see this difference for different grades, uh, 1B2 and 2A2. And uh, you can see uh, here the major method is the uh, chemo radial therapy and the same is true for the international guidelines for the european society you can see with uh, these grades uh, 
um, uh, this is recommended. But the possibility of neurotuber therapy is being discussed, but this is not a standard. And for two uh, B grade uh, chemo uh, radial therapy, but I must uh, say that I was quite surprised then uh, that now in April this year, I saw uh, a journal of our Chinese colleagues who initiated another trial, a juvent chemotherapy, uh, for uh, two B um, grade of cervical cancer with the possibility of uh, using the combination of neurotuvent chemotherapy and radical uh, surgery. And um, so uh, that's what it looks like. As for the systemic drug therapy, as the adjuvant uh, therapy with cervical cancer, everything here follows the risk groups. And um, it's important when the risk is high, when there is at least one of the factors, uh, the, um, um, uh, lymph, um, uh, the damaged um, uh, lymph nodes, invasion of parametria or tumors in the uh, resection edges. With the intermediate uh, risk, uh, the possibility of uh, neotuvin therapy is discussed when there are two factors, lymphovascular invasion, deep invasion, or large size tumors. So, well, well two of these three um, is um, uh, intermediary risk and uh, neoadjuvant uh, chemo um, um, therapy is used and uh, low risk. Uh, neoadjuvant therapy is not needed here. That's when there is just one of the uh, factors present, vascular invasion, deep invasion, or large size tumor. Uh, but here, uh, the requirements are not that uh, uh, strict for the adjuvant treatment. And ESCO recommendations, these are, uh, uh, recommendations are listed. And uh, as the adjuvant treatment, uh, chemoradial therapy is used, plus or minus brachytherapy. But since my presentation is dedicated to drug therapy, uh, um, I'm going to speak about the following. There is one um, detail here in the ESCO recommendation. Um, uh, juvenile ther hemotherapy um, can be added if there is a high risk of uh, relapse. Uh, these are the listed criteria, if at least one of uh, those is present, and they were all listed in the table. So uh, there is an option, a uh, juvenile uh, therapy can be added. No, um, uh, an interesting variant, a publication of um, 2018, our Chinese colleagues, on the sequential use of the systemic drug therapy as a juvenile therapy for patients uh, with cervical uh, cancer and high risk. It was intermediate, uh, intermediate risk and low risk, and you can see the standard uh, chemo, um, radial uh, therapy. Uh, uh, radio, uh, radiotherapy was used and experimental systemic approach was discussed to causes of taxosis platinum and uh, uh, then standard um, chemo radial therapy and then systemic um, approach. Now, in this trial, uh, we can find a sandwich indeed, uh, but um, um, uh, the, as for the efficacy, following the results of uh, non-progressive survival, a uh, positive effect is provided by this scheme, um, uh, the, of the sandwich uh, scheme, if there is a high risk of relapse. And you can see the upper uh, graph. Uh, then this particular um, um, approach um, uh, gains. Uh, as for toxicity, have a look. Uh, here the toxicity is higher. Uh, with uh, chemo uh, radial therapy, these are the red color, um, uh, and um, the profile of toxicity is higher. Uh, ex is exactly with this therapy. It is even uh, higher than with sandwich therapy. In 2012, there was uh, published data concerning a systemic therapy approach. Um, uh, Sihuli was the uh, a part of that, and uh, uh, systemic uh, drug um, therapy was used, and the standard uh, chemo uh, radial therapy, and uh, um, the results of uh, two-year survival, uh, five-year overall survival, 
no, they, they, these two groups did not do not demonstrate uh, uh, significant differences. Uh, the profile of toxicity was different, and uh, hematologically, you can see it was even high in the um, uh, chemo uh, radiotherapy, and um, the uh, alopecia was um, um, uh, higher for other uh, approaches, and so uh, so the. Conclusions were the uh, sequential chemotherapy and radiation uh, for cervical cancer patients uh, with high risk did not demonstrate any considerable use for the uh, survival, uh, but demonstrated a different toxicity pro profile. And this regimen can be an alternative option if there are um, uh, no counterindications against immediate post-surgical radiation. So the European Society of Oncogynecologists uh, still contains this option, but if there are no counterindications for immediate post-surgical radiation, and then another discussion, the systemic um, uh, drug uh, treatment as a juvent therapy for the locally um, spread um, cervical cancer. It was a publication of our Korean, South Korean standards who compare standard chemical and radial therapy with systemic uh, approach. And uh, at, the first glance, at the first glance, uh, following these uh, uh, tables uh, over here, we can see that the situation is very similar. A systemic uh, chemotherapy or uh, chemo radiotherapy, but um, there is a dis um, these are mostly Japanese studies, but they're also Korean and Chinese studies. These are not randomized studies. Only one, two of them are randomized from Austria and from the United States, but of the 1990s. And uh, even in the slide, you can see over here that the, there is a great variability in many of these um, trials. And, uh, 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 a great discrepancy in the results. And, um, so uh, the international recommendations, American recommendations uh, and CCN guidelines, for example, with high relapse risk of cervical cancer, and, and I know it's one of the criteria. Uh, the standard is the uh, distance uh, uh, radial therapy or chemo uh, radial therapy and brachytherapy, which complies with the recommendations of the European Society only with the positive lymphotal um, lymph nodes and uh, with uh, no distant metastasis is possible. Still, the recommendation is radial and chemoradial therapy with extended fields and uh, only if the para auto um, an extra examination, there are distant um, metastases, then chemotherapy um, uh, plays the most important role, and the radial therapy um, is uh, distant therapy. Now, uh, systemic drug uh, treatment, and um, I'm not going to go too deep into the details of different studies uh, that are well known to you, just uh, one thing. Um, uh, uh, among the innovations, the possibility of the use at present of uh, immunotherapy uh, when cervical cancer is treated. Uh, it is included into the standards and recommendations for the spread um, and uh, relapsing cervical cancer. It's a new trend in the uh, drug um, um, treatment. So the, uh, we. Uh, uh, work with the uh, cancer cell, and there are PD blockages of the PD-1 receptors, PD, and um, uh, proteins, and uh, the efficacy has been demonstrated in the randomized and controlled trial. Um, uh, Keynote 158, uh, pembrolizumab uh, demonstrated its efficacy, and it was recommended, it is being recommended uh, oh, uh, for the treatment of pro pro progressing and disseminated uh, cervical cancer, uh, since uh, by the level of partial and overall response, um, uh, the um, 
effect is quite good. Uh, 14% uh, epidel one positive uh, tumors, and uh, with, uh, only when the systemic drug therapy is used, usually this response is just 6 to 8%. And uh, thus, um, we can say that these recommendations are in, in, valid in Russia. In the Association of Oncologists of Russia work with those. Uh, the continued uh, uh, trials and studies uh, um, uh, came um, um, uh, therapy and radiotherapy with uh, different drugs added and a lot of uh, hope is associated with that. So finally, I would like to say that the uh, systemic drug therapy uh, is uh, uh, used for the uh, disseminated um, diseases, but also it can be combined with a surgical approach to cervical cancer. Thank you.